Hey guys, welcome back to Nia's Nest. It's been a while, I know. Today I'm doing a really fun Christmas collab going through the decades with lots of other mamas and friends here on YouTube. So make sure you go to the description box, click on all their links and watch all of their fun videos. Can you guess which decade I'm from? Groovy baby. That's right, the 70s. So before we dig on into the Christmas fun, I wanna turn on a little bit of jams while I get ready. A staple statement piece from the 70s would have been some lace or flowers around the forehead and just kind of a straight or wavy. Seems like both looks were in style back then, like a wavy look or just like straight as a board, down in front look. They didn't do a lot of makeup, so I'm actually not gonna put anything else on than what I'm already wearing. Got a little mascara on, but now it's time for my outfit. One very popular thing in the 70s was a bell sleeve. Also lots of corduroy and like thick heavy materials that could be layered over something with bell sleeves. So I'm gonna do this thick camel color lace. We have each committed to a decade, and if you can't already tell by the Credence Clearwater and the hippie headband, I got the 70s. Okay, so I want to start off by showing you guys a craft project that I brought into my home that I did include my girls on. And I know you're probably thinking that this specific craft does not seem 70s-esque. However, I thought I'd put my own little spin on this entire video and kind of show what things would be like modern age 70s. So, my thought process behind showing you guys the craft in the first place was this whole like mindset in the 70s of like free thinking, artistic living, kind of doing what you want to do but on a budget. I feel like the 70s was a time where people really wanted the finer things but didn't have the means for the finer things always and that's kind of where we get this term vintage. Back then it was like in and cool but it wasn't necessarily a brand new shiny thing. And so that's kind of where I got this idea to show you guys this like kind of recreated piece of artwork in my house. So here's what I did. First, I started out by driving around looking for a pallet board. I needed something that was gonna be tall and with layers so that I could hang stockings from it. Once I found the shape I wanted, I took it home and laid everything out in the grass with my girls and we painted it. It took about 30 minutes total and about another hour to dry and once I was done drying it, I just picked it up, brought it in the house and placed it where I thought it would look best. I love it, I think it turned out perfectly. Now I want to show you some ideas to fill those up with or maybe just some other separate gift ideas and I want to show you guys what it would have been like in the 70s if you were trying to come up with a gift list for yourself or for family. So I want to start with the Sears catalog. If I was in the 70s, right about now, I'd be flipping through that bad boy, circling things, checking off things, putting X marks through things that I didn't like. But in 2017, this is what we are currently experiencing in our household. It's no longer Sears, it's the American Girl Doll Magazine. So when I went to go do some research about the decade, the 70s, and the Sears catalog come up, I instantly thought about my daughter and the American Girl catalog. She loves to circle things that she wants for Christmas or her birthdays, and that perfectly ties in with this whole, like, putting my own little spin on what would have happened in the 70s, but it's happening in my home today. Are you guys ready for my next 70s gift idea? It is Star Wars! Star Wars in the 70s was legit vintage. Oh my gosh, even just looking at this little ad, I'm like feeling nostalgic and I'm feeling homesick. I can't even explain it. This just gives me all the warm fuzzy. However, we're gonna put my little spin on it. This is modern age gift idea for your little guy and it is current Star Wars for 2017. This would make the perfect stocking stuffer and it's not losing the feel of the 70s that we had as children or that you had as children and my mom had as a child. Okay, so this next one was probably the most mind boggling for me and it is the gaming apparatus. And the hot game that everybody asked for at Christmas time was Pong. Current day, it's Xbox and Overwatch here in this household, and these two would make perfect stocking stuffer for the man in your life. Maybe it's your nephew, your cousin, your little brother. But I just found these vintage pictures of the gaming apparatus system, as they called it, so incredibly adorable. Next thing on every 70s girl and guy's Christmas wish list was Bionic Woman and Six Million Dollar Man. Or if you want to say that in modern terms, it would be 
Barbie! I'm looking at this ad for the Bionic Woman and the Six Million Dollar Man and I'm thinking it's not so much superhero as it is like really fashionable looking and the packaging and their clothes they're wearing, everything just looks like a Barbie doll. This next one is not so unfamiliar if you're in my generation or younger and it is Extra! This is a camera, a hot ticket item on all 70s teenager and probably young parent list for Christmas. Also a super big deal in the 70s was obviously the Polaroid, which like seriously is still around to this day and makes the perfect stocking stuffer. Our family gets so much use out of the Polaroid camera. We probably have hundreds and hundreds of these little babies laying around. I love the look. They look vintage, they like old, but they still look fresh and just adorable. All right, you guys, I am gonna wrap up this video and head off to listen to some more Credence Clearwater while baking Rosie Greer's fudge sauce on some cake. It's going to be delicious and groovy. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to go check out all of my friends' videos. The links will be in the description. Click on those videos. Give them a thumbs up. Subscribe to their channel. And peace out, you guys.